garage yet, otherwise we'd get copyright strike. I don't care. You should. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another episode during Hurricane Henry. Henry with an eye. Henry with an eye. It really has been quite unimpressive so far, so I guess it's a good thing. Pick this up, a little sign to add to the shop. And today, don't mind the mess, this is still vacation stuff. We got the 300 in the shop because, because why? It's a vacuum leak. Well, we think it's a vacuum leak. Uh, what I have to do. Popping my hood is no longer easy. I have to use pliers. Well, that's problem 74 for our fix. Of 85. What we have is your standard 6.1 liter, whatever. We've done this before. And I don't know if I showed this in an earlier video, but we bought a eBay, Amazon, catch can. Yeah, I know it's garbage, but you gotta, you don't know until you try. Yeah. Um, I think it's leaking, because this thing has a rolling idle. That, mm. Or, it could have a lot to do with other stuff here. A little oily on the bottom end of the catch can. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna pull this out. Oh yeah, your filter is not even on correctly. No, you got all kinds of weirdness going on here. So we're gonna pull this whole thing back out. Elbow, sensors. All of this, pull it all out, put our new catch can in, and see if that doesn't fix our idle. We might even clean our throttle body one more time, make sure the screws are all tight. And we'll come back and see if uh, we, we still have idle search. Doesn't look too bad. No, it doesn't look too bad. We just did a power steering pump on this. And one of the problems we were having was there was an excess amount of metal in the power steering. What she's in? I don't know. It scares me when she talks like that. It just out of nowhere. There you go. I love when they put Mobile One only on the oil cap. I put in whatever I want. He uses Mobile One. Right, because we bought the Mobile One in the big containers. Yeah. You take your, uh, your 520. Oh, you're 040 like me. You take that the European blend. What do you do for an oil change? Another 2,000 miles, as per the sticker on my windshield. When did you get your oil changed? Never. Since you got it? Yes. Oh boy. Yeah, no, no, let's, we'll do that at a later, later time. We'll save that, save on that. Okay, what's the deal here? I don't remember how to take off the clips. You well, told me and I just- Okay, know. right, so this is the Chrysler clip. Chrysler clip theory. So you got that back, this in, and off. So let's just clear. This lock stops you from pushing this pin. So you pull the clip back, you be gentle with it, and it won't snap, you pull that off. Now this, we'll have to look and see because the airflow comes through, and you wanna make sure that, A, this is sealing, because that's really it's seated on yeah. And these things don't really have an idle air control motor as much as it's just built into the throttle body itself. Generally that means vacuum leak. And where does vacuum exist behind the throttle body? That catch can is very suspect. Too broken. Oh! So if you look, you see that's already a problem. Exactly, so if you see, if you have your intake air temp sensor, and if it sits like this in the stream, uh, it's shielded from the intake air coming through. So really what it should be is it should be facing either direction is fine. So that's just a temperature probe, but we want that facing into the that into the airstream. Yeah, this is wrong because this is supposed to be over this adapter completely and you got a huge gap, like you got a huge gap. I don't know what you were doing here. And what do we go with? We went with good old tried and true JLT. Not a sponsor, surprisingly. This is probably the third video where we're putting a JLT on a vehicle. Give me a JLT air, 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 I was gonna say air freshener. Yeah, air freshener, JLT, we want an air freshener. These are fun, these are going on the charger because we put long tubes on and while well, the secondary O2 sensor is saying, hey, your cats are inefficient because they're only uh, this big now. Well, we should start by taking all of the hoses off for the, for all of that. Yeah, get that, get that. Let's get that whole catch can out of there. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Let's undo. So get the get the hex head bolt. Let's take that. Let's take this. That's an ouchie. You're fine. Let's take. Hey, look at me. Let's take this off, and then do that. Undo that lower bolt. And take the Z bar off. Uh, and then this. Whatever. It's all gonna come off. Yeah. You got to boo boo. I hurt my fingy. He's got to boo boo. So I lied when I said that all. Uh, Hose clamps are five sixteenths. Most hose clamps are five sixteenths, except when you get to them teeny ones. You're gonna need to go into the drawer. You think so? Hey, All right, we'll give it a there's, shot. There's one more size. Hey. hey! Push that right on out of the way. I'm glad that was secured on there very nicely. Yeah, yeah it was leaking at the bottom. Well, if it was leaking at the bottom, then it definitely had a vacuum leak. And I probably have to go through that and. Oh. Don't do that. Gotta love the 6.1. 6.1 has no MDS, that's why they're one of the better motors to work on. Hemi's in this year, 5.7's had that MDS system, and uh, more prone to cam failure and lifter failure than the non-MDS motors. So these are generally the best of both worlds. You get the larger displacement, and you get no MDS, and they make a good amount more horsepower. 4.25? 425 crank, I'm gonna say somewhere around 360 wheel. Going through that NAG1 transmission from Mercedes-Benz is uh, always a fun thing, right? Once you get all that off, let's get the throttle body off, and we'll start from there. Look at you working clean. This is this is impressive. <laughs> this is the first, I'm yeah, surprised. Yeah, he, he uses the tool, he puts it back. So what's going on out here? Let's take a look. Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ambitious club. Yeah, okay. Hello. The viewers want to know what 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 club you belong to. Yeah. Are you on the metric side or the standard side? Standard. This is definitely a metric bolt, buddy. Of course. Ain't nothing. Oh, I wonder if it's ten. Satisfying. It's ten mil. It's always ten mil. Satisfying. Why is ten mil satisfying? Because you never ever have a ten mil until you need it and then it's gone. So it's satisfying that we have the ten mil. We have. We better have a 10 mil in here. Yeah, it's a little loose. Oh boy. Did you just take that off without using any uh, any pressure? Only a little bit. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, we have found our leak. Look at that brand new power steering pump, brand new idler pulley, brand new belt. So, so nice. So pretty, so nice. All right, we'll, we'll inspect the gasket and make sure. I already looked like it already looks like the gasket was pinched over in certain sections. Yeah, I see. Which means that that's essentially where it was leaking. So why don't you pull that gasket out and we'll see if we can't rotate that. Out. Oh yeah, I could already tell that gasket was. Uh, I don't think we can rotate it because there's a certain slot over here. We'll be very gentle in pulling it out. All right, well that's not too bad. We'll clean that up. See what we can do. So. It, while you were saying that it's got a check in one direction, what we'll do is we'll just flip it over. Hmm. We can clean this off. We can rejuvenate on this. Just, there you go. Installed. Yeah. Installed. Uh, you might need a tube or so. My impression of a Honda Civic at 3 a.m. I'm sure the internet would love to see your... That, oh, that was, that, that that was. was it. Oh, I thought we were doing better than that. Damn it, I didn't even, come on GLT, you're supposed to give me a sticker so I could rep the brand too. No stickers! No stickers! GLT, come on, you should even be a carb sticker in here or something, something, something. I want to put a sticker on my car so people know when I'm running and they can fear me. Fear you with a catch can? Yes. Look at that, that's a much better location. So much clear. Oh. It's tight off the bat, but you know. So far, we have JLT on the Durango, my charger, and now your 300. And I have the JLT, uh, I have the JLT cold air intake too, which I like a lot. They gave us two tubes. Where's where it's supposed to go? Well, uh, fortunately, we, only, we know that one of them just literally goes from there to there. And since this Z bar moves our own, 
hoser that you have to chew around. Yeah, it's not a really good hose cutter. Again, it's not under a massive amount of pressure. Nope. That's too loose, isn't yeah. it? All right, so hose that pipe. side needs a hose, hose clamp. Pipe on Fine. This side. It means it's going to rub against my beautiful JLT mount. Again, I'm not sure what JLT was thinking by having that hose bend like that out of the gate. Because you're definitely going to... And this one's bending too. Well, that's fine. That can bend a little bit. We're okay with that. Little bend don't bother. It's that big bend that it was trying to make us do earlier that you just can't have. This is basically pinching the hose closed, which completely defeats the purpose. And in your picture, it's funny because it shows it coming out and doing 90, but that's more of the manufactured hose that does that. Tight so it doesn't leak, that's all. And you'll have a bear of a time trying to take it apart anyway. Are your uh, your top screws tight? Nope, not yet. The bottom one doesn't either. See now, I think we got that in. That looks much nicer than the cheap ass one we had from eBay. Did you want to flip it inside out? Well, or other way. I don't know that's which. Well, I don't know which way the enough. way. The... So put it in and let's see if it if it's circular or if it gets that area where it bunches up in it. Because that was uh, that was concerning that it had areas that looked like they would not sit flush. That one started. All right, so the throttle body's torqued down to the specified uh, inch finger pounds. Attention, attention. Severe weather alert for the following counties. What? Hunterdon and Somerset. The National League has... Cancel. Jeez. Canceling. Today we are canceling the apocalypse! <laughs> so I think I made it a little bit too long. What you should do, just a little teach time, is uh, wrap the end of that with a piece so that it can't come off, and then you can continue to work without having to worry that it's going to come off. Yeah. Oh, you're oh you're trying to wrap it to the connector too. Look at you. Mm -hmm. You wrap electrical tape terribly. Oh, and you didn't even cut it. Yeah, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, your my viewers just cringed. See. And we need to cut the boom short. It goes Soyonoro. Soyonoro. Where's this go? Tube. Tube? Tube. So this goes this way to run back to this to go back to here? That seems kind of silly. But we need to make sure that's sealed, so that's got to be pushed all the way in. Oh, you're all set. Cool. Leave that in there like that. And that's it. Fixes that's my why, clearance problem. That's why it was mashed into there because this filter wasn't seated all the way on the outside of that. Uh, flip that around. There you go. And that way you know, look at that. Now that is where it's supposed to sit. Not rubbing against here. And that's it. So what we'll have to do is put the tools back, do the throttle reset procedure, make sure, here look, I'll take care of. Look, I'm working hard, hardly working. Oh All right, so God. let's go through throttle reset procedure. Also, let's open the garage door so we don't die. The viewers. So 6157, and I believe it works for the 3.5 or 3.6, whatever V6 model it is. 31% um, battery left, by the way. Just so that's you, fine. We'll, you we'll go fast. So pretty much uh, 06 to whatever the end of first gen Chrysler. Hemis, Bush, Chrysler. Bush, Hemi, whatever. Anything drive by wire. Anything drive by wire, whatever he said. You pretty much turn it into the accessory on position. Don't mind the lights. Your, your car probably won't do all that weird stuff with the lights yeah. on it. Press it down probably won't. on your throttle slowly down to the floor all the way. Don't mind the LEDs. And then come all the way back up. Real slowly. Slowly. You, do you can this do this. Once? You can do this multiple times. A lot of people do it like uh, three to five times just to ensure entire, entirely. Range. Accurate range of motion, right? Yep. Oh wow. And I end up pulling my key out every time because it's probably just a little bit smarter. Mm. 
We'll do it for three for the three? sake of, We'll do it for three for the sake of the three. viewers so that I don't have to sit here and watch three. me move back and forth in my movie chair three more times. Two more times, whatever it might be. All Next right. time out. So it wasn't as simple as it was supposed to be. No. no. Everything up to that point was simple, except for, I, like I said, again, I, I just went to reset the ECU and... Oh, you're filming this part. Yes. This is the After Effects. So I went to reset the ECU using the JSCAN app and the, uh, the throttle drive-by wire did not like that at all. And the ECU is telling me it doesn't have a throttle. So we're attempting to reset the whole thing by just leaving the battery out for 20 minutes to an hour and uh, we pulled the fuse for a couple other things so see what happens uh, hopefully we come back and everything's working fine but when fuddling around in the JSCAN app just so you know you can you can hurt things if you're not careful um, so hopefully I didn't blame father turned my car into a vegetable gone wrong Cold start, and that's about where it's supposed to sit. Let's let it warm up and we'll come back and see how it uh, settled off. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. We are now idling beautifully at 800 RPM. Look at that, between eight, 800 and 825, it sits there and just much better. Because it was what? Rolling between 700 and 1,000? Yep. Oops. Rough idle. and it's settled right back where it's supposed to be. That'll do it today. We just wanted to get this installed, get a video out there for you guys to see. Uh, plenty of content coming, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. What do you, what do you got to say to the viewers there, kid? Kick ass. You gotta, how about this? Go out there and kick some ass. You're encouraging people to fight. Not literally.